Hey guys, Juan here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make $100 per day with a simple lead generation website. So one of the first things that I wanna show you here is really the potential that you have to make money online with uh, lead generation websites. Um, the great thing that I love about these kind of sites is you can rank them on Google, you can rank them on uh, the Google Maps, and just do it one time, get them up there and they'll continue to start getting calls. Uh, they'll continue to get calls and leads and you'll be able to sell those leads to businesses. So let me show you here an example of what I'm talking about. So we have the Seattle Appliance Repair um, website here. Um, this is a term that gets 880 monthly searches. So what this is, is um, where you know, let's say like the businesses have like 5,000 to, you know, 10,000, $20,000 um, kind of uh, actual equipment, right? Appliances that they have that need to get repaired, that will break down and they need somebody right away. So what they'll do is they'll look up different appliance repair folks, or they would literally just pick up the phone and call whoever's at the top of Google. So that's where you can come in and really help these guys out. Also, you know, you got home appliances that people have that also need to get repaired. And, you know, the way that you can set this up is be able to get to get a bunch of calls every single day is by ranking on the organics and by ranking on the Google Maps. So this guy here, this domain is ranking number one for this term, right? 800, 800, 880 monthly searches. And these guys really don't even have a website. Let me show you how this looks here. There's no meta description here. And their website is like some kind of error. So just think about this, that the competition is really, really low. So your your goal, your objective is to research and look for different niches, uh, different kind of untapped markets that uh, really rely heavily on phone calls and, and lead form fills and be able to create an exact match domain website, kind of like how this person has it here, and be able to rank on Google within a couple weeks, few weeks, and then be able to start getting some leads. So let me, I wanna show you here an example of a site that I built and that I kind of let go by the wayside because I had other projects going on, um, but it was it's in the appliance repair, uh, I guess, niche. So. Let me go over here. So this is a site that I had set up back in, uh, I think 2017. And I'm not gonna walk through any live examples of my lead gen sites because for some people out there, for some reason, you know, it, they like to send spammy links. They like to send like Viagra and all these different kind of spam stuff to, to websites and push them down because they want to take over the position. I think I was watching a video uh, the other day on a tutorial from somebody who was talking about that exact same thing. Somebody sent them to their to their lead gen site, a bunch of like thousands of like Viagra and like spam links, like, come on guys, right? And so I don't want to show you guys uh, any of my actual real assets because of that. I'll show you here something that I built up that works extremely well and that I kind of let go by the wayside because it wasn't it wasn't generating the kind of leads um, that were really I guess paying for itself when I was really working on um, other projects. So yeah, this is something that I let go by the wayside, and it's just to give you an idea of how to build a local legion site here. So what I did is I created this brand because the whole objective here is to look like you're in real business, okay? And so. Um, the, the whole thing here is to have it set up like a real business and then have content here that is going after these specific terms. So I'm going after Seattle Appliance Repair, Seattle Appliance Repair Company, all these different terms. And I did my proper research with the keywords and found all the different brands, right, that people are typing in. Uh, honest and affordable pricing. This is literally just positioning me as like a local business, right? And so what would happen is people would call this number here or land on here and put in their information. And then that lead notification would get sent to uh, the client that I'm working with that I'm selling these leads to. Or if I'm renting this site out to them for a monthly fee, 
um, essentially, um, this would get sent all automatically to them. So one of the things that I recommend you do right when you start a Legion site is you set up all the socials, um, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, even Google Maps down there. So that's going to be the process to get everything set up. Okay. Now, the way that you actually get a domain from this is literally going by to, to uh, Namecheap. Let me go to Namecheap over here. So do research and find some local niches, okay, that are very untapped. So let me even look at in here. I want to, there's a small city in my area here, and it's Marysville. I want to see how this looks like here. Okay. So this has 20 monthly searches and it has a bunch of um, Yelp, Home Advisor. These are all like directory sites. And that means that it's super easy for you to rank in here and you can actually set up this domain. Let's see, this is even available here. Okay. So this domain is available. The key thing when you're setting up these domains is that it needs to be an exact match because that's what is really going to tell Google what it's about. And it's going to give you more authority in a sense because it's an exact match thing that people are, ter are searching for, right? Query. And you're going to have a lot more um, credibility when it comes to actually ranking. Okay. So let me go over here and I want to show you kind of how this process looks. Okay. So what I would do is uh, step one, okay, let's go steps. So number one, uh, register exact match domain, okay? Let's say I wanted to register um, marysvilleplantsrepair.com, okay? And we would set that up, okay? And then step two, what I would do is once this is set up, okay, I would um, install WordPress and get content from I need articles. Okay, dot com. Uh, let me show you here. I need articles.com. This is a great, great site here to get content. Uh, I've actually gotten all my content for all my lead gen sites from there. You literally just tell them a couple keywords uh, or three or four keywords that you want and they'll put it into the content. They'll make it look nice and, and professional, okay? And then let's go back. Okay, so register an exact match domain, okay? And then you install WordPress and get content from I Need Articles. And then I would say the next step for you to do is to actually um, set up, okay, the social links. So this is um, Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, Twitter. Okay, this is one of the things that I did right away because you're you're showing Google that you are trying to be like an actual business, and, and you're you know you have because you got to think about it. What is a real business typically online? What do they have? A lot of them, for the most part, they'll have their social presence, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all these different things, because it's showing Google that you're like a real business. So I would recommend you set all these up here, okay? And then uh, just like I have it, I have it here. Um, I registered this Facebook page when I had this going, um, and I made sure that I had the address in here. Let's go to about. So I, I either got this address, I don't remember if I, I think I got this off of somebody from Craigslist. So what I did, is I said, hey, um, I'm looking for somebody to uh, get a Google My Business letter in the mail um, because I need to get a pin from Google so I can register my business on the Google Maps. And I paid somebody, and then um, they were able to give me access to their to their address there. And so I set this all up, and then um, this is actually no longer up, as I mentioned, because I got. Um, really, I let this go by the wayside because I was just, I was got so many other projects going on that this one was actually, it was bringing in some money, but it wasn't enough for me to really pay attention. I think it was like 
I don't know, I think it was like a thousand something a month or more than that. But the thing about it is, is that, um, you know, I was having trouble with the actual client because he wanted to pay, um, you know, less per lead. And it was just all this stuff. And I think I was just like, I had so many projects going on and I was just like, ah, eh, just screw it. You know, somebody else could, could take it on. So what I'm trying to do here is give you kind of the framework and, and the process to, to set up a local lead gen site so that you can set it up once and it can start really generating leads, but continue to, to generate leads, uh, you know, by being at the top of Google. Okay, so I would set up all of these different profiles, okay? Go over here, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of those. And so I would set up social links, right? Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter. And then I would go here and we would set up uh, some uh, actual links, okay? Links uh, from um, Trusted Source, okay? These are backlinks. These were, are essentially going to help you rank within the uh, Google platform. So let me show you here some uh, resources here. This is uh, Tim. This guy's name is Tim. And I've used them quite a bit on different projects. Um, let me go back over here. This is the, the package that you're going to want to get, okay, uh, when you're first starting out with a new website because this helps you get everything off the ground and it's really safe because you're not trying to build a bunch of links like right away that are like um, kind of that are not really trustworthy these as you can see they're very um, trustworthy because they're like web 2.0s and what I mean by web 2.0s is they're like blogspots dot um, wordpress tumblr weebly um, and so what they'll do is they'll set up uh, the social signals here. And so what they'll do is they'll have like 30 likes on your Facebook page, uh, retweets on your Twitter, your Pinterest. And so what this does is it gives social signals and Google likes these because it shows that you're being social and that you're like a real active and healthy business. They'll create a video and they'll do video submissions and then they'll register all these different blog spots, WordPress. Okay. And then uh, they'll do some Google credibility, authority booster, and then they'll do tier two links, which means that uh, let's say they have like a, a blog spot um, blog set up for you there that's linking to your website. They'll send links to that blog spot and they'll power up that blog spot so that more of that juice can get passed to your website. So uh, this guy here, I highly recommend $105, super duper cheap. You could really, you know, within a few weeks or even a month, be up there at the top. So uh, let's go back over here. So we want to register an exact match domain, okay? And uh, we want to install WordPress, get content from INeedArticles.com, okay? And then you, let me, let me even go here. Let's, let's uh, put, um, obviously when you're here, in this stage, okay, you want to make sure. Whoops, let me, let me. Okay, looks like we had a problem here. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, let me. My apologies here. So, uh, we want to go to steps. Okay. We want to go number one. We want to register the exact match domain. Okay. And then step two, we want to install WordPress. Okay. And um, then step three. Okay. Well, in step two, we also want to set up social, set up social profiles uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Step three, you want to get backlinks, okay? Uh, I walked you through that process there through a good vendor up here. But um, within like really the, the first step here, when you're registering an exact match domain, you obviously want to do the right keyword research. Uh, I remember when I was doing the keyword research here for these guys, for this site here, 
I researched and I looked at, looked at, okay, what are the different types of appliance repair that there's out there in the market? You know, people are searching for washing machine, uh, refrigerator, oven, right, dryer, restaurant equipment, very specifically. So when you register that domain, you know, you should obviously do keyword research. Um, and that's kind of more of a given. That's why I'm not really even putting it in here because keyword research is a very important part of this. You have to understand what people are searching for and the intent behind it. Um, when somebody is searching for a very specific um, uh, type of you know washing machine or refrigerator repair, they need that. And especially when somebody is searching for like, let's even see if this pulls up in here. Um, let's go Bosch right here. So especially when somebody is searching for Bosch Appliance Repair Seattle, like they know exactly what they want and they need somebody ASAP, right? For their Bosch appliance. And look at this, this is interesting here. These guys here are at the very top of the maps and they don't have any reviews. So this is another super easy keyword to go after. So the whole strategy really here is to uh, get that domain set up, okay? Look for different niches out there that are super simple and super easy. Um, I wanna even show you how nice and simple this guy here is set up. Let's even look at his uh, kind of uh, his backlinks that he has set up here. So that's that's one of the things that we can do is easily look at the competition. What are these folks doing, right? This guy that's ranking number one, whose site is down. Let's see what he has. And look at this; he's getting all this traffic here. Okay, let's look at his backlinks. So this is an easy way to reverse engineer the competition. So this means that this guy here has uh, 101 backlinks from 31 different websites, okay? And we can even take a deeper dive into this and look at, okay, where are these links coming from? We can even go after these links if we were trying to set up a uh, local appliance repair site. So let's look at this one here. Let's go to for construction right there. Okay, so it looks like this guy's doing, and this is in another language here, right? So this guy's just literally doing citations and um, he has the link there. Super, super simple and easy, okay? So this guy looks like he's literally ranking from just like the citations, the business citations, and that's super simple to, to get there. So uh, let's go back over here, okay? So we've done the research here for Seattle Appliance Repair. We know that this is super easy to rank for. Um, let me even go back. I want to show you here some terms. So let's say that we even wanted to go after um, different terms that are in like different cities. So um, used appliance married to Washington, appliance repair Everett. Here's a, another nearby city. So really the strategy here is to uh, like I said, set up a website, get a domain, um, get content, um, set up, set it up so that you have the right keywords in the content like I had here. I mean, you can literally um, go to archive.org and use this as, a, as an example here, okay? Um, because this is a site that, like I said, I let go by the wayside and I wasn't really paying much attention to it. Um, I mean, this was back 2017, right? I have a lot of different things going on now than I did before. But this site was making money, and there's it's super easy for you to be making a hundred plus dollars a day by just sending leads to local businesses um, from your lead gen site. And let's say you even want to sell this website to a business. I mean, it's it's just an easy, super way, super simple way to make a hundred plus dollars a day by sending you know, these leads to local businesses, right? You're doing all the upfront work and then you're getting paid. So how much does this cost to set up? Let's go here and let's look at cost, okay? So let's say we spend um, $9, let's go $9 for domain, okay? And then we have um, some $100 for content. Um, I need articles. Com, and then we want to spend $105 for this package over here for the best small uh, SEO package here. 
and then um, we want to spend, let's say, fifty dollars for business citations. Um, small SEO package. Okay, and then business citations, and let's look at. Uh, let's see if we can find uh, a citation builder here. Okay, uh, let's go business citations. Let's go search, come on now. Okay, so we would find uh, some local business citations here. Uh, this guy has 420. Let's look at this. Okay, so this guy, for $40, we can do 100 citations. And I mean, it, guys, I mean, this is super, super simple. So $40 instead of 50, uh, this would be 100, 100 citations. Okay, so this is really all you need here to get this website ranked. And really even in the Google Maps, let's say you wanna, you wanna use like your home address or whatever uh, for this quote unquote business, because once you get that pin from Google to register Google My Business, you can go in there and change that address and then use a different address to actually set up all the citations. So this is, um, so let's look at, okay, so 205, 245, um, let's go, what is it? 250, I'm not good with math here. Let me see here. I think it's a, uh, so 245 plus nine, I think is what it was that was in my head that I lost track of. 254. Okay, so $254, right? Uh, this is literally um, how much this is to set up a local lead generation website that you can easily make $100 plus a day, okay? This video really is more of an overview tutorial of the, the real, the, the opportunity here and, and the potential for you to start making $100 a day by setting up this local lead gen site, okay? Let me even see here if we can find some other niches real quick that you can even look at. So let's say, um, you know, let me even type in locksmith here. Marysville, or we can go to uh, Everett um, Locksmith. Ever, I'm in Washington, but whatever, Washington Locksmith. Okay, so that's not what people are searching for. Right here, Locksmith, Marysville, Washington. This is another uh, kind of term here that we can rank. This guy here is in the maps. I mean, this is so funny. To see if this guy even has a website. Okay, so these guys have a website, okay? But there's no like reviews and nothing in here. And these guys have 137 reviews, 33. This tells me that this guy just has a bunch of um, citations. So we got Yelp in here. So this means that this these guys is just super easy in here to, to get this ranked, okay? So let's say we wanted to um, actually rank for this and register this domain. Whoops. Why is it why is it doing that? Let's go to like this. Okay, so geez. Let me let me take away this term here. Um let me see if I can get this all together. I don't know why it's not pulling up here. See here. Okay, I don't want that. I want to see this. Boom. Um, we could literally rank this, or if you want to go like this, even shorter. That one's taken. Um, so yeah, I would go back to this one in here, and and get that set up. So, I mean, literally eight dollars, nine dollars for this. Install WordPress. Uh, get your content from uh, I Need Articles. Um, obviously, do your keyword research. It's nice and simple here to look at. Like, if I wanted to do keyword research here, just to get an idea of what keywords make sense to go after if I was doing another appliance repair site, right? I would look at these here Appliance Repair Seattle, you know, 
another tool that I would recommend you guys download and set up here is the Keywords Everywhere. This is a uh, Chrome add-on, and you can see a bunch of the other kind of similar keywords that people are searching for. Also use down here, this particular area. It shows you a lot of the different keywords that people are also searching for. But as I said, this is really a tutorial to show you how you can easily, for $254, uh, set up a long-term asset that could be making you hundred plus dollars a day and really you know begin to to build additional assets on top of this right so research and look at really you know like not very high competition niches in your local area uh, and go after them and, and set up a website you know and I'll have another tutorial where I actually walk you through step by step through the entire strategy. This is a kind of a, I guess, a thousand foot view from uh, from from the top, giving you kind of the, the overarching strategy and the framework. Um, I can create another tutorial where I let's say if I were to do a brand new lead generation website, I could set it up for you, uh, walk you through how to install WordPress, how to buy the domain, how to do. Uh, all the keyword research, how to set up all the pages and all the citations. I can walk you through that in another video, but this video is just showing you the strategy of how to go about it. Uh, and then another video I can create that walks you step by step over the shoulder how to do that. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, really appreciate a like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.